So this is the Simple Coding Program slash website. You buy the program at Amazon, or I could I would imagine you could also buy it from this website. Um, so you will go to the beginning. You log in. Well, I'd have to redo it all just to go there. You log in, you click on your name, and this is our accomplishments. He has not uploaded any submissions. So you actually have live teachers that you send work to. Um, you can upgrade your account for a monthly fee. There are is a monthly plan, a four-month plan, payment that you pay for four months ahead discount so let's see $35 a month $99 for six months $24.95 after that $34.95 a free day a free seven days and then $29.95 after that and then an after school program for $39.95 So with that, it seems like you get online teachers and more videos to go through. You can contact the teacher if you're having trouble and they'll Zoom room you. A Zoom room is a online conference room that either you share the teacher's screen or the teacher shares your screen and you work on your um, programs together. So let's see, I think it's here. Is that it or no? No. Mm -hmm. Level one, that's not it. Where is the class at? This blue one? Mm -hmm. So select the file on the left to view. So we are working in the Python multiplayer adventure. So let's start there. Finish product, lesson two. Well, we don't want to go there. We want to go here. We'll go to lesson one. So lesson one, whoops, whoops, and we'll go to overview. And I thought it would take us right to it. Maybe it's down here. Okay, so time for Python. We're going to assume this is your first time ever going through Python, and it is. Um, so it, this very first lesson takes you through installing Python. I had a little bit of trouble understanding the directions. Um, it took me this part right here, this idle.bat, uh, was a little hard for me. Yeah, it was a bit complicated. Yes. Um, even though there are video, there's a video instruction. So you go here, there's Windows instructions, Mac, Linux. Linux, whatever. Anyway, even though there is a video, I still I still struggled. Boy, I thought when you click on this, it would take you down there, but it, it doesn't. Unless it's just mine. I this is a new computer and I am struggling the keyboard and the touchpad are just not responding the way I would like it. So let's see. Everything is done in this main.py file. Um, let's see if I can get to mine here. Nope. Uh, I saved mine right here so that 
I didn't have to search for it. So you click on it. It takes a minute to open up, but it, it'll open up. It just takes a little time. You'll see it there. It comes right there. So this is where you're going to do all your work. You're going to open up your file. You're going to go to open. Um, the first lesson teaches you how to make this. And there you are. This is where everything's going to be typed in. This is your um, dialogue. So getting back to here. He talks about just have to go to the top of the Let's see, we'll go to the next one. Um, I had wrote the makers of this, and I, I made a suggestion. I I didn't get an answer back from them yet, but I was thinking that a printout ahead of time, like here we are at Text Adventure, so. You set the variables equal, so the variables here that we had were greetings equals raw input. Now raw input means that the person can put whatever answer they want. You're asking them, how are you doing today? And they can put fine or whatever. After they do that, it'll go to the next one. What is your name? Another raw input. This here, this dot title. Um, makes it so whatever they put their first name, even if they don't capitalize it, this is going to capitalize their name. So this is a language that you have to learn in order to code. Well, it's coding, but this is... So what I was thinking that right before you get to this, there should be a link. Like, let's say this was a link. You could print out a paper that had all this stuff right here. Sure is the name of the variable. Instead of you're going back and forth between this and that, um, having the little cheat sheet would help me because honestly I was extremely lost. I felt it was taught as if you already had a slight knowledge of it, but we don't have any knowledge of it. So was really really lost and had had to keep going back over it and over it to try to understand it and I don't think I really still understand it. Do you understand it? So it's, it's really going to take some time and um, learning this language. But that said, so we both struggled with it but I then I looked around a little bit more and I see that there are live teacher sessions so we have upcoming sessions um, and then archived sessions I don't know there's no upcoming but here October 26 there was a Java script design game demo um, and then a weekly meeting and they're here for you to go back and look at so I think that's good because a lot of times when somebody's working now it seems like he's working one-on-one -on -one. oh wait this is that zoom room one for some reason it wants to open a zoom room there and share my computer it seems like okay okay so log into your simply coding account so here he is having a one-on-one -on -one with a student yeah, I'm I'm logged in. I see. Okay. Okay. So you should see. So what, this I, is really where, great where because if you uh, are on yours? in yeah. need of help yeah, here, you can contact okay, so a teacher. Name, Isaac Willard and all that. And yeah. let me pause so this. That brown thing. You can contact a teacher and set up a Zoom room. This is a Zoom room. They are sharing either his screen or his screen in this thing it's a program called zoom room um, and so let's say he this boy's name is Isaac so this is probably his screen um, so I like that about it so if you're struggling then you know that you have a teacher that you can go to and actually 
he'll help you figure it out. So it's not going to be a waste of your money because you will have somebody there that's going to help you. Now in the Python, there is two lessons. I don't know if there's more after this because we are only on lesson two. You, usually once you hit the quiz, then the next one pops up. So I don't know how many is after that. Um, eight? Might be eight. My, sure my son thinks there's eight. So let me see if I can find anything else. Um, I saw that the school or, you know, this program, they have, um, but right here, these look like maybe these might be students. They've uploaded um, something for a contest, it looks like. So here we have um, Ella as a game design dot window uh, underscore window zip win HTML. So it looks like they upload stuff either as a contest or... Um, as to get graded by the teacher. So here, now you're on your next level. After you finish your level one, um, then you can sign up for further. Here we have a JavaScript, responsible websites, JavaScript. Um, level three, challenge yourself. Um, dive deeper into coding and help understand the language documentation. You need to complete one of the the two level courses and desire to learn more. So then next step could be phone apps, phone for Android, phone for iPhone, and then we have the Python multiplayer again. So then we got layer four, more academics, just for fun. We got a Minecraft mod. And then under development, which means that they are always expanding. And I would imagine that if they can get this off the ground, the more students they have, the more that they will develop. Because uh, if they don't have anybody to develop it for, then why should they waste their time when they could be using it on something else? So I would imagine once things pick up, they will probably start adding more and more on because there will be the need for it. But um, right now it looks like a lot is under development. So, again, this is the simple coding, uh, and this is the Python that um, we were working with. And, and again, we, we just started, so it's really hard to review something that you haven't used for, like, a month or two because with something like this that's what it takes it takes a month or two to get the hang of it it doesn't just come it's like learning any language it doesn't just come freely so it takes a lot of work and it takes time so we actually didn't have enough time working on it to give an uh, you know a really great review because we're just learning so I would imagine that we could come back and update it um, once we understand it more. And um, my son want, would love to grow up and make games, so hopefully he will put his head to this. And I wouldn't even mind paying a monthly subscription for him to have um, support and teachers to help him. So it's really not a bad price. 30 bucks a month was the one that I saw. Um, most of us can juggle 30 bucks a month. Okay, thank you.